As we attempt to summarize data, sometimes it's helpful to represent the center of data with one of our measures of center. One such measure of center is called the mode. The mode is the value that occurs most frequently in our data set. So for example, if I've got the data set 21332, you see the number 3 appearing 3 times. And so 3 is considered to be our mode, because it occurs most often. A second measure of center is called the median. This is the actual physical center value when the numbers are first put in order. If there's no middle value where we have two numbers in the center, we'll take the average of those two center numbers by adding them together and dividing by 2. So in our example, 2, 1, 3, 3, 2, 3, we first have to put them in order. 1, 2, 2's, and then 3, 3's. And then once the data is in order, we look for the center. In this case, there's two numbers in the center. So what we're going to have to do is we'll add them together and then divide by 2. That's going to give us 5 halves, or 2.5, for our median value. The mean takes a little more calculating. The mean considers all the numbers. We add all the numbers together and divide by the number of data values. We have two different symbols for the mean, depending if we're talking about a sample, a small group of numbers to estimate a bigger group, or the population. The sample will use x bar. The population will use the Greek letter mu. Looks like a letter u with a tail on the left side. But both are calculated the same way. So for our data set, 213323, three, three, what we would do is we're going to add these numbers together, find the sum of the individual values, and then we'll divide by the number of values. We have six values. When I add all the numbers on top, we end up with 14. And then when we divide by 6, we get our middle average value, our mean, of 2.33, rounded. With Excel, we can do some of these shortcuts as well to quickly calculate the mode, median, or the mean. The function for mode is just equals mode, open a parentheses and select our data. But we have to be careful if there's more than one mode, it'll only give us the first mode. It doesn't give us these multiple modes. Equals median, open parentheses, select the data to find the median. And equals average, open parentheses, and select the data. Let's take a quick look at using these. All right, I have 20 data values here that are very random all over the map. If I want to calculate the mode, we'll type equals mode, open a parentheses, and then we select our data values. Hitting Enter tells us that the mode here is 11. Similarly with median, we'll type equals median, and then select our data values. Enter gives us a median, happens to also be 11. If we want the mean, we'll hit equals average open a parentheses and select our data values. And when we hit enter, we find the mean is about 10.65. And in this way, we can use Excel to help us calculate these various measures of center. One more thing I want to talk about is what's called a weighted mean. A weighted mean gives different values different weights, or importance, or frequencies. The formula for a weighted average is to multiply the individual data value, x, by w, its weight. And then we divide by the total weight that we have in our situation. So for example, if a student learns that her grade is weighted 45% on the final exam, 30% for projects, and 25% for homework. So let's organize that here. We're talking about our weights here. For the final exam, the weight was 45%. For the project, the weight was 30%. And for the homework, the weight was 25%. And she scores 
These are our individual x values. Her actual scores were 87 on the final, 79 on the project, and 95 on the homework. But we can't just add these and divide by 3 because they have different weights. The final weighs more, and the homework weighs less than the rest. So to calculate our weighted mean, we take the individual value times its weight. So for the final exam, we'll do 45 times 87, which is 3,915. For the project, we'll do 30 times 79, which is 2,370. And then for the homework, we'll do 25 times 95 to get 2,375. And the way we find our weighted mean, our formula said we take the sum of the xw's and divide by the sum of the weights. So we need to know the sum of the weights, which is 45 plus 30 plus 25, 100, as we might expect. And we need the sum of the xw's, which is 3915 plus 2370 plus 2375, which gives us 8,660. So in our formula, the sum of the xw's is 8,660 divided by the sum of the weights, which is 100, gives us a total score of 86.6 for her final grade. So weighted averages, we have to multiply the weight times the amount, and then divide that sum by the total weight. So hopefully you found this video helpful as you calculate various measures of center, mean, median, and mode, as we work to represent the center of our data with these various measures of center. Good luck on your work.